ਮਾਰੀ ਪੈ ਗਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਜਿਆਦੀ ਬੜੀ ਇਨਸੀਬਤ ਹੀ ਬਿਠੇ ਫਿਰ ਕਾਬਲਾ ਖਲਾ ਨੇਰ ਪੈ ਨੇਰੀ ਪਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਗਾਂ ਜਾ ਜਾ ਜੂ ਰੋਟੀ ਕਾ ਸੰਗ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਆ ਪਾਇਆ ਨਾ ਉਸੇ ਕਾਬਲਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਜੇ ਪੱਕੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਪੱਕੀਆਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੱਕੀਆਂ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੱਕੀਆਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਗੰਦੇ ਪੀਤੇ ਪਤਾ ਨਾ ਆਈ ਤਾਂ ਦੁਕਾਨ ਕੋਨੇ ਲੱਗੇ ਝੋਨਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਇਆ ਕਰਕੇ ਤਾਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਪੀਣਾ throughout august and september the columns of refugees grew and grew from hundreds of thousands to millions Will you imagine 2 million people on one road virtually and it's just a seething mass of people trying to get water trying to call in wells were poisoned um trying to find food trying to cope trying to cook women having children it's awful awful things and of course they often try to stop us and to ask for help and sometimes if depending what we were doing we'd stop and say what's the matter what do you want and then they they'd say we know we've no food and so I'm sorry I can't I can't do anything for you because that wasn't our job we just didn't have any food to give them First they used to start uh, throwing their baggage which they were carrying, everybody, whatever little they had to carry. And after three, four days they used to gradually drop and then they were left with just the clothes, shattered, tattered. And lastly, the mothers leaving their small babies. That was our biggest problem. And there were these crawling babies and on the side of the road with these thousands and thousands of people just moving it was a terrible sight terrible sight tens of thousands of people boarded special refugee trains that made their way between india and pakistan They were easy prey for the armed gangs that roamed the countryside. It was John Moore's job to escort a train load of Muslim refugees to Pakistan. It wasn't a train, it was just a lot of coal wagons, steel coal wagons, and this of course is August, which is pretty hot. And we loaded up these these wretched refugees. it was very distressing and the journey from ambala to to amritsar by train normally would you, you could do it in about i suppose 4 5 hours and um in this case it took 4 days there was no water very little water on the way we had our own supplies of water for the three platoons um but we had a job to do and uh, we couldn't help it help them Three days into their journey they reached the Sikh stronghold of Amritsar. Just 14 miles from the border they were forced to stop to pick up water. The station had been taken over by hundreds of armed Sikhs. Amritsar station was crawling with it was packed it was like sardines uh, right across not just the platforms but across the tracks. They all had weapons of some sort or another. Some were old blunderbusses, some were fairly modern rifles, spears, swords. They were shoulder to shoulder crowds and pushing and shouting and screaming. And um, you realised that you were just going into a hell. And if you didn't look tough, 
there was there, you were you were for trouble because they, they would then have gone for us before the refugees and um, I said the thing to do is um, to get the grenades out let them see a lot of them are ex-soldiers these uh, people here the weapons they were carrying let them see you priming grenades prime the grenades and that they'll know you mean business then and doing that they the crowd sort of melted back and away and left us clear and I suppose we must have been in the station uh, for about oh, four hours something like that and just as dawn was breaking we managed to to pull away the engine to do the last 14 miles. There had been very little planning for the movement of refugees or their protection. Most British troops had already been sent home whilst Indian and Pakistani forces were in total disarray. They were totally inadequate forces. The reason was very simple because the Indian army was being split. At the same time, don't forget that the, the troops were also concerned about their families because wherever they came from, the trouble was going on in their homes also. So they were very much concerned. And most of them were on leave or they were on the process of joining their new unit or they had already joined. So very much, very few bodies on the ground, really speaking, available to us to deal with the job. Most trains had no military escorts with inevitable consequences. John Moores was called to Ambala station to meet a train that had been attacked. This was a train load of, I don't know, five, six hundred, seven hundred people, most of whom had been killed, slaughtered, um, mainly elderly um, people, young children, young women, and they had been attacked and slaughtered, shot. I can remember seeing a young woman with that. She was still alive, her head open, cut open, and her, you could see her brains. And knew there was nothing that we could do. We hadn't got any surgical facilities or anything like that. But it was, it was a horrendous, horrendous thing. Um, and I still think about it very much. Art student Satish Gujral helped organize the transportation of refugees. In Amritsa, he saw the hatred partition had brought. The Muslim girls' school nearby had been raided, and all these girls had been brought out, stripped, then taken in procession to this, this location, where they were being systematically raped. I have recalled in my life story that man watching it, I looked at the face of those others who were attending it in search of compassion. I found none. In the coming months, around 15 million people made the journey from one side to the other. At least one million were dead. Thousands more lay abandoned in makeshift refugee camps, stuck on the wrong side of the border. The Viceroy now led the relief effort. My mother was forever visiting the, the Punjab. She visited in five months. She did 70 major tours of the Punjab uh, into the camps and trying to organize, organize the camps, organize the hospitals, get guards on the hospitals, um, get food. And they soon learned that tell Lady Mountbatten something or answer one of her questions and something will happen. Pandit Nehru, the new Prime Minister of India, toured some of the camps with her. Finally, he came face to face with the price his people had paid for partition 